It was Christmas of 1993, and we were introducing my cousins Manny and Mikey to the Sega CD with Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin, the very first game they ever played on the Sega CD. Little did I know, that night, Manny was going to beat the game on his very first playthrough. What's up guys, it's your buddy Tyler coming at you with a new video and man, this was a story for the ages because I remember it so well. Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on Sega CD. It was a showpiece for us guys. It was one of these games that took the Sega Genesis game and made it this giant open world game with an explorable map, multiple stages that weren't included in the Genesis game, animated cutscenes to further the story along with voice acting. Mary Jane. Hi, Tiger. Hi, honey. What's up? I was just on my way to the studio to tape today's episode of Secret Hospital. Thought I'd stop by and get a kiss. If you're not too busy, of course. Now there's something I'm never too busy for. <laughs> and a killer soundtrack by Spencer Nielsen. This game was the type of game we were expecting Sega to do more of with the Sega CD. Take existing Genesis titles and just put them on steroids with CD technology. We had gotten our Sega CD the previous year in Christmas of 1992. And as usual, my dad was so keen on showing my cousins and the rest of my family what new consoles and video game stuff we were getting. Here we are on Christmas Eve. We just arrived at my family's house and look what is on the TV. Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on Sega CD. Well, Mikey, well, Tyler, well, in me shared, well, Uncle Mike, it's good to see you. Shut up! It's good to see you. It's been years. It's been years. Oh. You just fell out. Do you die? No, I just go back into the game. Oh, yeah, you do. Watch. Oh, great. We got something special for you, Sarge. <gasps> Spider Man, huh? huh? This ought to make the chief happy. Look at Spider Man. Should I use this, like, this glop thing? Now, we called Manny the king of games back then because he really was. He was one of the greatest gamers I ever knew. When it came to challenge, there was no challenge too steep. He would beat the game. Manny is still trying to win the end of this Roger Rabbit game. He's setting himself up for the long endurance. <laughs> I know what's going on in his mind. He's thinking to himself, I'm gonna beat the game. Uncle Mark is here. I'm gonna really show off and beat the game because he'd like to impress my dad. You're doing really good, man. You might actually do it this time. Now, as Aunt Michelle prepared dinner for us that night, and we watched Manny play Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin, I know that dad had the camera ready. I know that he knew that there was a high probability that Manny would beat this game this very evening. And I was upstairs playing Paperboy with uh, my cousin Mikey. Nintendo? You mean like, uh, is it guys. regular Nintendo? Can I play? Little did I know as we played Paperboy on the NES that night, Manny was nearing the end of Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin. Who's this guy? Moments after we played Paperboy, Dad was able to go downstairs and capture the final boss battle on tape. I'm gonna pause here for a second because Manny just said a very key factor in one's ability to beat Spider-Man versus the Kingpin easily. God, this is easy, but the web. 
I don't remember if it was a trick that Dad taught Manny that evening, or if it was something that Manny discovered while he was playing. But basically, what he figured out, if you keep selecting the web shield from the item selection menu, and before it wears out, you press pause again, and you select that web shield once again, you basically have broken the game and have an invincibility throughout the whole game. Every boss battle you encounter, use this technique and you will beat the game easy. This is what Manny learned and this is how Manny easily beat the final boss. Dad recorded the final cutscene in Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin that night. There's your real criminal officers. You'll find his bomb in the other room, disarmed with the keys I took from his henchmen. We have a lot to thank you for, Spider-Man. And a lot to be ashamed of. To think we believe you were the bad guy. Mistakes happen, guys. The important thing is, we're all on the same team. This is all very touching, but you're wasting these officers' time, Spider-Man. My lawyers will have me out by dinner time. Justice is never a waste of time, Kingpin. This was the beginning of a Sega CD Christmas. That entire Christmas was loaded with Sega CD games. The very next day, Christmas Day, I got Sonic CD for Christmas. We, I honestly think that me and my family were some of the biggest fans of the Sega CD that there ever was. It's mine! No, it's mine! Come on, boys. There was just something so magical to us about it. It was the evolution of the video game industry unfolding before our very eyes. And the fact that dad captured this moment and this moment of like awe that we were having with the console, I think it's so, so cool because it's moments like this we'll never really get back. They're moments frozen in time that capture a certain time and place that just doesn't exist anymore. There is no more fascination over the Sega CD. Nobody freaks out when a cutscene happens in a video game or CD quality music blares through your speakers. And we were living it in that moment, in this very moment. Oh, great. Well, that about does it for this video. Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on Sega CD. I will forever remember this night. Not just because it was Christmas, not just because we were visiting my family, but we were experiencing brand new video game technology together. If this is your first time to My Retro Life, do consider subscribing. I'm very curious if any of you guys owned the Sega CD version of Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin back in the day. Please, let me know in the comments below. And hey, we also have a Patreon page. I did want to bring that up because a number of you have joined already, and you too can become a Power Team member. Visit the Patreon page and consider supporting the channel and becoming a Power Team member. There's much more coming, lots of other gaming stories from my retro life and old home movie footage from those days to share with you. So until then, I'll catch you next time.